Uh, this is a snouted cobra, previously known as the Egyptian cobra. And the reason for that is that it used to be a subspecies of the, of the Egyptian cobra, Naja, Haja, and Lefira. But uh, Don Broadley back in the, the mid 90s uh, elevated it to full species when uh, he realized that it wasn't really related to the Egyptian cobra. Often thought to be uh, predominantly uh, uh, neurotoxic as far as its venom is concerned. But uh, what we do see in bites is that there's a lot of cytotoxicity as well. So a fair number of the bites, we see uh, swelling, uh, we see uh, patients experiencing a lot of pain, and we also see tissue damage. It's a large cobra reaching two and a half meters. And fortunately, it doesn't bite a lot of people. It's quite rare for us to hear of anyone getting bitten and fatalities also quite rare. Active both in the day and at night, uh, it's a it's a bushfold species, and uh, it feeds on rodents, frogs, birds, snakes, especially puff adders. So some of the work that was done by Professor Graham Alexander and his team in Denneking um, also show that these snakes are very very effective at uh, at eating puff adders. I think at one stage nearly half of the study puff adders were taken out by by snouted cobras. They vary in colour tremendously. So this is a, a very average color for a snouted cobra. They go really, really dark, purplish dark, uh, a purplish in color. Uh, other times they have some barring on the sides, but then we also have the banded varieties where they have these broad purple and uh, light brown band, bands down, uh, down the body. And uh, the Afrikaans people talk about a lappy song. Uh, reproduction, they produce around uh, eight to 33 eggs in summer and uh, the hatchlings are around 30 centimeters in length. Perfect replicas of the adults, uh, but when they hood up you'll see that the youngsters have a very dark broad band on the chest and this fades with age. If you keep chickens and you're in the right area, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to have some of these snakes visit you. They love raiding chicken coops, they eat the eggs, they eat the youngsters, uh, the chicks, and they're also quite well known for taking out adult chickens, killing them.